Thank you for joining us. It's World Unity Week for June 20th. I'm Shannon MacArthur, and I am joined today by Eva Millar, uh, who is bringing to us an introduction to her course, The Embodiment of the One Heart. Uh, welcome, Eva. Come on in. I can't hear you. Oops. <laughs> Embodiment as the one heart is very much to do with spoken word, though it's better if I'm unmuted. <laughs> Does any one of you know anything about embodiment as the one heart? But I know a little because we've had two days together yeah. and it's been yeah. wonderful. So I know just a little bit about it because <laughs> I always feel I'm at the beginning of the process over and over and over again. So let me just start briefly. I am a visual and performance artist and I've always had this thing about oneness and separation all my life. As, as a young teenager, I was bored in school and I doodled lots of pictures to do with oneness and separation <laughs> in the lessons. And even on my A-level papers, I found things. <laughs> but basically, it's been like something that's been very alive in me for a long, long time. And I had no idea where it would be going. And at some point, I felt a very, very strong passion emerging to dance very powerful poetry that is totally non-dual the poetry in which there is no separate self the soundtrack comes from my birds they seem to be coming in they, they have like a, a branch with the wind chime so they're they're activating that in that moment we can barely hear it you can okay good it's not here yeah, it's quite loud so basically i had this sense that the transmission of no separation that came through this powerful poetry was so attractive that I wanted to literally be like gobbled up by it, right? I didn't want to just read it and feel the power of it. I wanted to literally just like disappear in it, dissolve in it, merge with it, right? So it, it was this really strong urge that, that came up. And Basically, so I started dancing in the in the dance studio with those really powerful words, right? And I didn't really know what I was unleashing because at that point I was only thinking very small. I was thinking I want to just dance without being a dancer, right? And I can I just give you a little demonstration, just like in terms of the body language. So you get a sense of what I'm talking about. So if I was just like here now and I'm like, oh, look, this is Eva Melawa and she's dancing and can you see her? And this is the movement. Yeah, right? So this is like the dancer, right? <laughs> and the embodiment as the one heart way of speaking and dancing would be something like this. And I'm going to, allow this to just like flow completely spontaneously now. So I'm going to just take in the energy that is here and I'm going to just see what words come with it, okay? There is, there is just this one being speaking. There is just this one being speaking in all those many forever changing forms. There is just this one being that ever has spoken. There are only mirrors. There are only reflections. There is only this. There is only this mysterious and almost unbearable aloneness in the all one, in the all one of all 
of life. Yeah. Yay. That is so beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so Thank powerful. you. Mm. Yeah. So, so this is what just came from what I felt from this group of people. This is how the words wanted to, to express. Thank you does so anyone, much. I, does I, anyone, yeah? I, I, thank you so much. The, the other day in the chat, I wrote, um, we are the oneness speaking to ourself. And that is what I got from what you said. To, and so that reflection comes back to me. And how beautiful is that? Thank you. Mm. Is any, does anyone else want to share anything or ask anything at that point? I always do. I always do. <laughs> that's, why, that's why Shannon loves the mute button. <laughs> she where it is, and I appreciate them. Now, this was the best background. I have about 400 backgrounds because I use them for teaching. And this was the closest I could come to dance with you. Because, That's beautiful. Because we are the eyes of the universe looking at itself. Yeah. If the dinosaurs hadn't been wiped out, however it happened, or if we hadn't been planted here or whatever it is, the universe wouldn't have had a chance to look at itself. It lives through the dinosaurs. It danced. When the dinosaurs danced, it was the universe. And when you just danced, it's the universe dancing, literally with star stuff. Huh? We couldn't be unless a star had... I love the fellow on stage who says, yeah, Jesus, but the stars died for you. The stars mm. came into their death so that you could be born to dance for the stars. It's just mm. a cycle. And I thank you for yeah. the chance that I'm in your dance today. Thank you for your gift. Oh, thank you, Joseph. Thank you. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Anyone else would like or ask a question or anything? Paul, do you want to no. speak what you've uh, written into the chat? Oh, I haven't seen. No, I, Eva, I don't want you to pay attention to the chat. Okay, uh, no, that's fine. Right. Uh, Otherwise, yeah. it But Paul, <laughs> if you want to share that, I would love to have you speak it. You'd love to have me make sense out of it since I mistyped it. But I, I've been working with Bobby McFerrin for many, many years. And we go off each year for a session of uh, uh, circle singing. And circle singing is without lyrics. So it's the music, it's the sound, and it goes on. That's what you reminded me of so much. And he used to do it in upstate New York, but at the Amiga Center. But now he's going back to doing it in, in, in the... California, and uh, we went uh, a year ago. We didn't go this year because the timing had changed. But the idea of music being so integral to how people function and do things outshines to me a lot of the words that are spoken because it's a common language. So I appreciate you, Eva, in doing what you do. And it's like uh, uh, Noam Chomsky who came up with this common language and people have to understand that people communicate from something inside of them. And then they developed something that was more communal for everybody. But it's mm -hmm. how the language changes mankind and how it works. So I yeah. appreciate what you're doing. And it's uh, what we do. 
as humans. Mm -hmm. But if you're not human, then you don't understand it because you're busy doing things your own way. And that's the whole thing about people doing things their own way. So I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Unless there's any other shares, I could pick up from that. No one urgent. If anyone feels like urgent, they want to bring something in, you can always you can always do that, right? It's very free flow here. Okay. So basically what has just come up for me as you were speaking, Bob, was this. Oh no, sorry, Paul. Sorry, I get this story again with the names. I don't mean, if I call you the wrong name, I apologize. I get very confused with this. <laughs> Especially when I'm in this place, you know, no separation. It names sometimes don't make that much sense. So, <laughs> so basically, what 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 you were just sharing about how we how we do things and how we bring it back into the community that's exactly what began to happen with with this consideration right this consideration of no separation in the spoken word and through the body and the more i started to realize how powerful that is as a process because it because when when we go through the body with this it just unleashes a whole other potential of transformation that i didn't know about, about before I explored this at all and um and that was just suddenly it was like oh I need to share this and this is how this the urge of I need to share this then turned into a lot of different circular processes that kept unfolding and unfolding and taking me to new new places that I could have never imagined and this is one of the reasons why I'm here now <laughs> And why I ha ended up writing this, this course, uh, because I started to teach groups and I started to teach one-to-one -one sessions. And at some point I started feeling something is missing. And what was missing was that, um, that there was just this foundation, the roots of what it is needed to be somewhere. They needed to be somewhere where you can reread it, where you can restudy, where you can where you can go again because every session I've been running was so organic and so free flow that that we couldn't even almost remember what happened because it was so it was always so spontaneous we all we felt in those sessions that I was running was that somehow the process comes full circle and everyone knows it happened right um but how it happened why it happened it always was very very mysterious <laughs> I remember when I started this, I knew I couldn't come with a program because embodiment is, one, is not a program. It is what is there. It is what is there. And it is the transmutation of what is there into the reality of no separation, into seeing it from the reality of no separation, right? Um, and so I was there and I was... I was inventing, I always invent games along the way. So I invented these things and I asked people, do this, do this, say your name, do it like this, do it like that, you know, and they were going around and how about we do this? And I, I had no idea where this was going and if it would make sense at all at some point. <laughs> and suddenly I, I, I do this with a completely empty mind. There's no nothing going on in my head, no thought, nothing, right? It's just these ideas and they keep on coming and it just comes out. And then suddenly I had this one thought and excuse me, I'm going to swear now, because that one thought said, what the fuck do you think you are doing? <laughs> so imagine you're just like blank for two hours, and then this thought, and I was just like, I just didn't really do much with it. I just continued, right? And then it was like, yeah, it's come full circle, yeah? So so I'm, I'm telling that because, because these parts in us, right they will come up right because the reality of no separation is so free so identity less that something at some point is gonna pop in like something like i can't do this <laughs> i'm not good enough or i know better than this or whatever it is you know there's always going to be something that wants to like go like oh but hang on a minute this is a little bit too free <laughs> <laughs> because we haven't got to hang on to this nothing to hang on to there's nothing I can't control this right and it sometimes can take time to actually be comfortable with that 
level of not knowing, you know, this constant level of not knowing. But at some point, it feels so much more comfortable than believing to know, in my experience. Yeah. It seems to me that within the course, you have designed a vessel uh, within which spirit can mix us together and combine and catalyze each other and, and, and magic happens. Yeah. And that, that's kind of how I feel. What do you think, Paul? I think that magic happens. In a few weeks, my wife and I will be going to Basel, Switzerland to do a workshop for a week with uh, someone, Zuza Gonzalez from Brazil. He's taught this course from Brazil online every couple of weeks and the different modules. I passed the first module. My wife passed the second module and we all get together and we sing and we dance. And in Brazil, your body is very different. It's part of everything that you do. So Zusa leads us around in circles and circles and so it's kind of steps there. And, and it's all this stuff. And we have to learn body stuff. So. Mm. We study this for weeks. <laughs> so that we get it right. And we all can do it together. Because when you're singing, so much of the music has to do with how your body moves. I was scolded by one person because I wasn't my, moving my feet. With, with the music the right way. So the persons next to me couldn't tell what I was coming out with. I'm an old man, you know, and I don't move the way I used to. I used to dance much better, but now it's like it is. So I understand the music all over the world, every tribe, everywhere on earth. They go out and sing and they move and they do their circles and they beat their drums and they become one. And that's what yeah. I like to become one. But I'm an old man, so I'm going to be 72 <laughs> in, a, in a month or so. <clears throat> So well, thank you for your courage for joining us. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. This is what happens. We could just do a very simple little embodied experiment before we go into the course, if you'd like, as the body has come up here right now, you know, and this, the feeling of the body. And maybe we could do it like this. Um, yeah, just very simply, maybe we can just feel our heart for a moment and just feel what's there. If you feel like comfortable doing that, you can always not do what I say. It's always an invitation only. And just feel what's going on there. Or if there's another part in your body, on your body, at your body, where you want to put your hand, if it's a leg or if it's your tummy or if it's your head, or if there's somewhere where you feel like, you need to just give attention to this right now and how this feels and what is going on there. And then maybe you find that that potentially drops you in a different way of perceiving, maybe in, even into a different way of perceiving this Zoom call right now. And maybe there's a sense now that us feeling our own bodies may bring us with each other into a physical resonance. This may be something that may become tangible. And if it feels right, you may want to get a sense of how it may be possible 
to gather up the light, the light of infinite being, to literally gather it up and allow it to flow into the body and to send it and to send it. And I wonder if it feels tangible, you know, if you can feel everyone's energy, even through the screens. If it feels like maybe we are not that much apart, even though we appear only as pixels right now with each other. But maybe there's just one room in which we meet right now. Maybe there's just one room in which we meet right now. Hmm. I'm going to go into sharing something from the course now. Hold that energy where you are right now. Yeah. Just stay with that. I, can you see your screen? Not yet. Come on, let's see. My, my sharing is paused. What does that mean? Hang on. Hmm. It's like my screens. I have, I have this time had this great idea to prepare all the pages ready, but they seem to have disappeared. <laughs> they seem to have evaporated into the... <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing. Okay, let's see. Well, let me just go stop share again and see what happens. This is very odd. Okay. Well, never mind. There's another way in. Oh, here they are. I found them. Yay. Okay. I found them. Now I have to just... Um... Okay. I don't know why they are going onto another page when I do this. <laughs> they keep flipping pages. It's like... I, don't know why I doing know this. the feeling. I know the feeling. Okay. Technology. No, I, oh, it's okay. Now it's here. Let's see if it lets me do it. Can you see the screen now? Uh, nope. That is so okay. Screen sharing is paused. Can why? I? Why should okay. Paused? No pause today. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's not happening. We're gonna have to improvise. <laughs> no, I can. I can have a look in. Um, I can try and get into my. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I'm well. Confused. It may have to do with the odd way that this room is set up right now, and with uh, Shannon as host, and I'm not sure what happens with. The permissions that I have established for the room. Oh, okay. I'm the host. Which you're, should... you're the host, Stan. I'm, I'm the host. Yesterday. Yeah, you're oh. still the host. I'm the host. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Okay. Well, then I should be allowed or able to allow mm -hmm. screen sharing. And uh, what happens if I try to share? Yeah, it Who works. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's. Uh, who can start sharing when someone else is sharing? All participants. Let's change that yeah. setting. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. Now oh, you can try it again. Okay. It still doesn't show it, does it? It still well, says. All we have is a message that says you're trying to start your screen sharing, but we don't see it. So, Eva, when you when you go into chick, uh, pick your screen, 
uh, you just double click on the screen that you want to see or you use yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can uh, yeah. choose desktop, which should be in the top left hand corner. Okay. Yes, and when you use desktop, then we'll see ourselves as you see us. Just like what we saw when we looked at Stan's desktop. So what do you see now? All right, now oh. we got stuff. Yeah. Uh, what do you, now you see my messy desktop. <laughs> yes, we do, you and can, that's okay. A yeah. messy desk is a, a sign of an active mind. Right, now you can- There's always a lot going on on my desktop. <laughs> so you can okay. start you can over again. Stuff. How do I get to the right page though now? Because the pages are somehow over here. Look. What? They're not, they're kind of flipped on the other side of my. So they're not even here. They're only here when I stop sharing. It's so odd. Interesting. So Sam, what, what we could, I can, however, it's not, it's not too complicated because I, I can also just like improvise on whatever I know of the course you know <laughs> well I, I was, I think, it's, it's a shame that they don't get to see your website because I know how much content you've got in there and how beautiful it is yeah. um the I amount of work that you put into it is just amazing is it we're we supposed yeah. to be looking at your website through your screen share? well of course yeah, for the strange, the strange thing that happened is that the screens. I'm, I'm, I, I will try and open it again. Okay. But they are hot. They are there if I click on them. But as soon as I go back on the Zoom window, they jump away, and then they don't get recognized by Zoom. And I don't know why they're doing this. Maybe I just close them all. I'm really sorry about this. This is worry a little bit. We're so, in a uh, experimental the way I did it, space. I, I thought I'm making things easier, but clearly this was not the case. <laughs> this was not the case. Wait, so I'm just going to... This allows us to see how other people deal with stress and, and you deal with it with <laughs> humor. And honestly, uh, your, your, your giggle is infectious and beautiful it's melodious and um uh, and we're hoping that this time it works and it doesn't do you have a, a it's still, message it's still not doing it do you For have some a reason message it keeps, me, it keeps telling me that the screen sharing is paused and i don't know why okay but do you, you know it really doesn't matter eva 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 yeah i don't know if you get it but i have at the bottom where i have my tools a item that yeah. says start a new share, new screen share. Do you have something that says new, screen, screen, yeah. new screen share? Click on that and see if you don't get an opportunity to pick something else. Or then use um, your use your your desktop to move around on it. Let's see. I just <laughs> It still says it's paused. It's, I have no idea. Oh, oh, yeah, up there it says new share, doesn't it? Let's see. Yes, do that. Do that. New share. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. No. Okay, so you it's know up what? I'm gonna <laughs> improvise. Yes. In the back here, <laughs> we have a picture. <laughs> which is which is part of the logo of embodiment is the one heart i'm going to switch some lights on thank you very much for your patience and for that's really kind of you to hang in there with me so so basically this image here was an image that originally was supposed to turn into a diagram but it didn't want to get any words <laughs> so it ended up being part of the logo instead and I want to describe it a little bit because it's a very um, symbolical picture for what embodiment as the one had is right so um, at some point I started to realize that basically 
embodiment as the one heart cannot be just about the expression of oneness. It has to also be about really understanding the expression of separation. And the two practices have to go hand in hand because otherwise they, they're not becoming full, right? So we need to understand both. And what embodiment as the one heart does is that it basically teaches us it teaches us how to sense the frequency of no separation is invoked and what begins to disrupt this invocation, right? So separation begins to interrupt that invocation. And when we practice the self-inquiry as it is an embodiment as one heart, we become aware that it is like a withdrawal activity from what is, right? So the reality of non-separation is always, it's there. It, you don't need to do nothing. <laughs> you don't need to do nothing for it. It's just what is. Yeah, but as soon as separation becomes tangible, it's like a withdrawing from that. So, so we, we explore that. So we become sensitive to, to that state of being in which everything just dissolves as is, being as is. And when we go like, actually, I feel like really scared or really like this or really like that, right? And basically, in these places, the practice will be to still sense the reality of no separation and embrace whatever has come up. So it's never about pushing something away or dissociating from something uncomfortable, because that in and of itself tends to give power to that aspect of separation that we may be activating, right? So back to the picture. <laughs> the picture basically shows the light and the dark as one, right? This is like almost like a yin and yang sign. And I, and I added the colors, the rainbow colors, as the as the colors of manifest existence as the colors of all of manifest existence into that and also there is the circle the image of the circle is to me always like an image of consciousness of being of wholeness of reality of simply just being as is right it's source it's all of those indescribable aspects of who we are the unknowable aspects of who we are now this stripe in the middle to me is the the frequency in which separation happens right and i place it right in the middle because even separation is not really separate from what is. It is, it arises within it. So this square here is for me the place where there is the greatest polarity, the greatest polarity between good or bad or right and wrong and I and other and all these type of things. When they get very, very dense, when there's a very, very dense sense of these two things are very, very, very separate. Yeah, and often polar opposite. That's in there. And this is everything that is separation, which can, which is a lot. There's a lot in there. Like for instance, if we look at um, a typical consideration people tend to have is a lack of self worth, right? So if I if I come from a place of lack of self worth, then I, I surely have learned a lot about that in myself. I've had a lot of lack of self-worth. Often we may tend to want to go to having a lot of self-worth, right? But to me, or from the embodiment as one heart perspective, that is simply the other side of the coin. And it's kind of effortful. So I have to make myself suddenly feel very, 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 very worthy, right? And then I may still suddenly feel very, very unworthy. So I go back and forth in these sort of, polarities like in here and I'm not getting out of that even though I'm really trying I want to make my life better and I want to make it really beautiful and peaceful and all of this but I'm still stuck in this because I just flip between polarities 
right? And the embodiment is on her understanding of, for instance, this consideration of worth and unworthiness would be like, well, um, we are worthy in all of our uniqueness. We are infinitely worthy in all of our uniqueness. And in some ways, we are also infinitely insignificant in the totality of everything that constantly is birthed and dying right and then it's about being comfortable with that being simultaneously true on on some levels that is where i find most peace right in that understanding that i can be insignificantly infinitely insignificant and infinitely significant simultaneously in in mysterious ways yeah so basically this picture became part of the logo because it it very much shows how the, the how the perspective shifts when we look at all of life and ourselves from the totality of existence of all times and beyond space time basically and what happens when we are not in that when we're not in that and when we when we live in those um, spaces of separation and the course teaches the the difference it teaches how to how to become stable in the expression the embodied expression of the reality of non-separation and how to recognize when separation comes in and how to then inquire into that and how to make that inquiry into a process of finding more treasure underneath more beauty, more vulnerability, more openness, more yeah, parts of us we have buried somewhere out of often fear and ancestral patternings of, of being limited in so, so, so many ways as humanity has been for so, so, so long. Hmm. Mm. I love your artwork. Thank you. Yeah. So. Does anyone have any questions about what I just shared? Well, <clears throat> my father would say, um, Joseph, you're an artist. And so you don't have the right to comment on the work of another artist. And I said to my father, why have I lost my right to comment on the work of another artist? And my father said, because your art is your comment. So when I've thought about the heart and uh, the position in life and the energy distribution and uh, all of the things that are so vital to our uh, existence and our consciousness and our communications and all of those elements. Uh, I did come up, I'm scanning through my backgrounds to come up with my, the heart holds the body together. Um, this is my approach uh, to it. And sometimes mm -hmm. I substitute the word tribe, club, group, um, chat talk, uh, love holds us together and holds us healthy and together. Health is inside of us. And all of the insides and and such is your comment. So I'm not going to comment on your art. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the right. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I see Paul has his hand up. Yeah, I'm trying to ask him what? to unmute. Yeah. Yeah. I've unmuted myself. <laughs> there you and are. I understand what you're saying. I really think I understand. But what happens in life is that people go different directions and 
then they comment upon their different directions. And then people comment upon their comments. So it becomes a big whirly gig, a whirly gig of how we should react to life. And what you're saying is something very interesting and profound. It has to do with how we deal with all these different aspects of doing things. And we're humanitarizing, trying to do things, but it's about how we do things. So I'm saying very briefly, I hope, but I'm long-winded, uh, that everything that we do has to do with our life. And then there's the present life. And then our thoughts about the future life. So we are in the present sort of now. But the present is based on so much of the past. And all of us, all of us, all of us are based on the past. And you were talking, Ava, about uh, these things that apply to me in my life because my daughter-in-law has just spent a month in, in uh, uh, Yava in a different country studying yoga. So she got her certificate in it, finally after. And it was profound for her because she is very uh, discreet. She's, her family was discreet. And, and this is the time of China being uh, one child per family. And she had eight brothers and sisters who had to be shuttled off to different relatives to grow up without the country finding out about them. Too many people wow. for one family. So she was uh, raised very differently than most Chinese people and has felt very differently about her father, who didn't treat her properly, didn't pay enough attention to her. And she was the one person in the family who learned English and moved abroad. She moved to France and went to school in France and all this stuff. And there's only one of her brothers who speaks English, but all the rest do not speak English. So it was a very confused household and she was uh, wonderful in it and she married a German my wife a German and he doesn't speak that much German I mean that much Chinese and he speaks some and she doesn't speak all that much German but their communal language was English, so that I could talk to them in English, both of them, and then they could understand how to proceed. And their children were taught in Chinese, and then they were taught in German, and now it's a bit English. <clears throat> and they go to a very good school, a German school, that teaches other things too but a German school in which they learn English. And you can also learn French. Can I interrupt you there for a moment? Sure. I would just like to say that it's, it's a very touching story. And also that it, it, to me, it's just like completely mysterious how the intelligence of life places people 
in in this absolutely mysterious life path, you know, and something absolutely extraordinary can happen that brings you suddenly here or there or connects you suddenly with this person or that person, like like Joseph was speaking earlier about his autobiography. And it it is just unbelievable, you know, to me, it's just like this this one intelligence of life is is orchestrating all this this incredible uh and now it's so cross global all the time isn't it like as you were just sharing it's like it goes all over the world in in the most remarkable ways thank you for sharing joseph I, would you like to i yeah. just wanted to say no though to finish off mm -hmm. uh, that it's a very big difference between the united states and europe and the Asian continent. So they all deal with things very differently, culturally, intellectually, everything about that. My <laughs> wife is a distinguished mm -hmm. professor of Russian and my uh, her son lives in Singapore. <laughs> and before that, it was in Shanghai. So he's gotten into the Chinese culture a great deal, but it's about these vast differences between cultures that people in the United States do not appreciate in the slightest. <clears throat> I think that, yeah. and they don't appreciate it that mm -hmm. much in Europe too, but it's gotta be put together for the world to get together. And that's all yeah. I want to say about that, because it's yeah, absolutely. very profound, mm -hmm. and people don't understand it. Mm -hmm. uh, Joseph. Thank you. Well, I've got four things I'm going to try to remember them now. <laughs> this, this, this gets to be difficult. Uh, first one is um, uh, your daughter-in-law, Paul. Yes. Uh, OK, this is not going to probably work. But if you could bring up the subject to her of the I Ching and the Chinese approach to astrology, the chances are if she's familiar with one, she's opposed to the other, if she's more <laughs> traditional Chinese. And the reason I bring it up to you is because one of my passions in trying to present to the world is to combine and when you mention this to your daughter-in-law, she'll understand my problem. Show that there is a direct relationship between the Yi Ching and Chinese astrology. This is a, a, a Caucasian whose discovery, if I'm valid and true, would change the placemats in Chinese restaurants around the world. Okay, that's one. Number Do you two. mind if I bring it back? Do you mind if I bring it back to embodiment of soul heart? Because we only have like a little bit of time left. Is that okay? I love your conversation. It's really beautiful, but it just goes a little bit too far off from from the from the topic of the day. And when people want to watch the session later, they might just go like, "Where is this thing going?" Not, <laughs> no, not, is right. Is that no, okay? You're, no? you're right. Uh, uh, um, the other things. Uh, uh, we're about uh, the subject okay okay is, is there something you would like to share on the subject you sure you sure i didn't want to i don't want to like yeah but you know what i mean right because it's so easy i, I love all these beautiful conversations they are so inspiring and they're so so heartful but sometimes it just is taking a lot of the time and then if that's okay we just do a I'll little tell you bit what more. i'm hearing i'll tell you what i'm hearing this is not okay. the Joe. This is not the Joe Princiota show. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I okay. Think this is part I of the I conversation, and it's very much a part of the conversation. My yeah. daughter-in-law has spent a month in Bali studying uh, yoga. So she's got a certificate to teach yoga. And mm -hmm. this is part of the world that's going on. And uh, Vibrati yeah. 
as trying to make it a one world because the East has become so predominant in the uh, China link on to the Europe has become major thing and everybody tries to clumsily understand it but it's very complicated and it's mm -hmm. ongoing and uh, things like yoga everybody goes out to, to the east to study all these oriental, and oriental arts I've gone out there myself to Russia to study these things but it's about how you approach this and I would like to tell a story around this. Can I just tell right. a story around this, sure, this sure. topic? Yes. Because Paul, Paul, this topic, and, 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 and Joseph, we need to let the ladies have this session back. Thank you, Stan. Thank you, Stan. It it is Eva's story to tell. Come on in, Eva. <laughs> I, would like I said that. I would like to. I know. I would like. I would like to say something exactly on that um, on that topic of bringing the whole world together, right? And how this is really one of the considerations of embodiment as one had is exactly that, because it is in that in that reality of no separation, there is absolutely no difference. There is just the diversity of our expression. There is complete and utter diversity of expression, but there is no difference in who we are. And I want to tell a little story. I once met an Indian dancer. She was a beautiful Odissi dancer and she did this beautiful devotional dance for Krishna. And I met her and I met her husband who was a tabla player. And I showed them what I do. I said, I do this thing with spoken word and I do this poetry. And, <laughs> and they were like, wow, we've never seen anything like it. What is it, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then we really felt the connection um, that the Indian dancer and me. And we were like, how are we going to bring our art forms together? How can we do these very different forms of dance? How can we bring them into one work and first we couldn't we didn't really know how just like you said earlier right we don't really know how to bring all the world together with everyone doing things differently and then i said hey we use one of these poems as our thread right and the poem was guiding the dance and the poem was the poem that i was saying in the first session um which i can speak now again to finish off with if that's okay it's beautiful and we basically we basically just started sharing the lines so i would do a line my way and then she would do a line her way and it turned into this amazing collaboration and it really showed me how we can bring all sorts of different art forms together <laughs> into one um expression Oh my screen! Has my screen frozen? Or no, no. Am I, frozen I just because... made you bigger okay. for That's everybody. Fine. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the poem. Now you are frozen. Oh dear. Oh. Now, does that have something to, or is she just holding still? No. <gasps> oh, sigh. Technological Oops. trauma. Eva is missing. Oh. Apparently she wasn't supposed to share that. She's still on my screen. Yeah, I mean, uh, her video has changed. And I don't think we have any control of it. Oh, and there she's gone. Yes. Yeah, her, I think her bandwidth was overdone. So the first thing it does is it freezes. And then when the handshake doesn't continue, it drops. Wow. The handshake is how it knows that we're still zooming and back and forth. And when her service is unable to give her full zoom, it's unable to give zoom full confirmation and zoom drops it zoom will do that if you don't talk 
for about 40 minutes. It'll give you the free 40 minute thing, even though you're a customer as I am and you pay for it. If I'm waiting for you guys more than 40 minutes, it says, thank you very much. No activity, you're terminated. Uh, uh, because I'm wasting their time too, uh, even though for them it's not much. But for me, it, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Can can Shana, Shana, can you contact Eva and tell yes. her to come back? Thank you for asking. I'll She's do that. probably trying. Zoom will try to reconnect. It dropped me today once, and in about 40 seconds, it was able to pick me back up. Uh, and that shouldn't happen because I just had that wiring done that I talked to you about, Shannon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but so uh, it, it's also yeah. the providers these days. They're economically strapped, and they diminish i believe the amount of service that goes to those of us who are not paying them a monthly like some of the commercial users are paying my provider alaska communication acs and so they make sure the fast service on the limited capacity here she's back oh, all right God. now i pinned her so i don't think that had anything to do with her, her getting frozen I mean, uh, oh, Joseph may be right. Okay. There you Looks are. like I crashed. Yes. We love well, you, but you, you can start again. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you I hear me? I can't us? hear you even. Why can't you hear me? <laughs> I don't know what's going on today. Like my whole computer crashed. Like literally it was, everything was gone <laughs> on the line. I don't care anymore to keep silent about it. I've never been born or died. Well, there we go. <laughs> no. Well, now, if we you can say you. that slower, I still yes. can't hear you. Slower. Oh, chat. Let me just see. Maybe I need to just um. Maybe I can find. It's probably switched off my. It again. Slower. <laughs> so, well, I. This was an interesting one, with loads of funny things going on. You know, if we don't laugh at these things. L A U L A U G H at these things, we go crazy. Uh, we can't hear you now. Now we can't hear you. Okay. No, can't hear you. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. <laughs> can you hear us? Oh, and you can hear us. Session ever on Zoom I ever had. <laughs> can, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh, good. Not through Yay. my normal speaker, but literally the whole thing just. Just, I was literally, I didn't even have my desktop left. It was literally the whole computer crashed on that oh, line. Okay. It never happened before. <laughs> and I, I guess you weren't supposed to uh, repeat the poem from day one. Maybe that's supposed to make people go back to that session and, and hear that session again, because it is Maybe. a beautiful piece of poetry. And I love the way you moved to it. And you did that on the first day. And I'm so yeah. glad you did. <laughs> oh wow well thank you so much everyone it was so much fun to to be with you all and and share this with you thank you so much and thank you for everyone being so patient with all the it was a lot of little mishaps wasn't there there was so much not working <laughs> thank you so I, much I, I really want to say how much I admire your ability to stay positive and to bring humor mm -hmm. and laughter into this session, even <laughs> with all the challenges. <laughs> we can Thank have a, so a separate practice session. If we well, want. that's what the embodiment of the one heart is about. Is the it is, it is really, you know, to have more and more capacity in more and more situations. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. to stay yeah. move from the one where we're miserable all by ourselves into the oneness that includes us all and we can play together and, have yeah. fun and 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 react in the moment in a positive way um i 
really admire what you have uh, created from your life experience and uh, the, the the crises in your life. And thank you for coming and speaking. Thank you. Thank World you so Unity. much for sharing with me. And Joseph, I'm really interested in your autobiography as well. Could you put it in the chat somewhere? Thank you. So it's can... not finished. It's it's a work in progress, but thank okay. you for today. And, um, and thank you for your energy. Uh, this uh, is improving uh, my day already. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. because I'm thinking about writing as well, and I'm thinking about writing it in a, like in loads of little non-linear stories, you know. So it's not like um, I I couldn't go like he did this then <laughs> that would be been so 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 boring. To be, I think it, I just it, started it, to write loads of little stories and then put sure. them all together. <laughs> well, um, I didn't put it in the chat. Um, uh, but I'll get your email. Uh, my email is my name at Gmail. And so it's the Joseph with an F. And if you do a screen capture, you have the, the spelling or I don't know. And we way. can make it happen. We have the ability. So that's, uh, that, that's it. We'll connect and uh, uh, explore further because there's so many uh, reasons to do that. There are, and I'm a storyteller, and I write in a very non-linear fashion, and I'm put things up on my website, and and I'll invite you to that as well. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Oh, thank you so and, much. It has and, been a decided pleasure. And thank you, Bob, for being here. I see your your comments that you've been dropped as well. So it's been a funny. It has been some funny energy. <laughs> so i'll figure out how to bring up the course tomorrow <laughs> and there's all here to come to say goodbye i hope is that what you've come for paul can't hear you uh oh <laughs> technology <laughs> No, can't hear you, Paul. Okay. It's been a very interesting session, and I appreciate everything you said, Ava, because it's part of my lifestyle, trying to undo these wrongs. So we're going to be progressing forward, aren't we? And that's how it is. That's how it should be. So thank you. All of you, all of you. All Thank of you very much, everyone. Thank you. I really appreciate being with you today. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Yeah.